That was awesome. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. It's pretty interesting, eh? Yeah, the details, and that was really neat. The interview is sitting there, cameras are there, lights are on there. It's pretty scary stuff. This is bad timing. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit freaking nerve wracking. <laughs> Jamie coming in hot. Don't crash it. Alright. <laughs> Look at this spot. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Amigo, you Mike? Yeah, I am Mike. Oh, you you glass? So, yeah, I, I glass I'm Colin. Uh, nice to meet you, Mike. You're gonna glass the, the the blank that we did yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, gracias. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been working for uh, Courtney? In the pandemic. How many years you've been doing fiberglass? About. 20 years. Good morning. Good morning guys, so we're back in the factory this morning. And uh, Courtney came back in last night, I missed it, but he did the final sand. Really, really fine sandpaper. And just got this thing looking perfect. He wrote his name in there, he wrote my name in there. I'm so excited to ride this thing. But uh, we got Mike out here, he's the fiberglass guy, so we're gonna watch him put a layer or two on this. And then um, and then it's the final, he'll, he'll have the hot coat and all of that. But this board looks so good. So he's about to put in the fin boxes and he's got his little jig here set up. So he's gonna use the router and um, cut into the foam. <laughs> Forgot to wear my jandals when I left the boat this morning, so my feet are gonna be itchy today. Yeah. Perfecto. <laughs> wow, exactamente, huh? See ya. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> this is my board. <laughs> this is my board. <laughs> You're not in sandblast anymore. No, no. You left So he's just using the bevel to get the uh, exact same angle on uh, each of the fins and obviously straight up and down for that rear fin um, because that is definitely going to affect the performance of the board so everything just has to be exactly symmetrical on these otherwise it'll be lopsided it might turn easier to the left and the right so this board's going to be done with polyester and uh, he's going to use a four ounce cloth one layer on the bottom and then two layers on the top where I'm going to be stomping all over it. This is all exactly the same as what we do on the boats. He's got polyester resin, he's put some uh, Q-cell, uh, like microspheres, inside the resin, kicked it off with Catalyst, and uh, that's going on now. Alright, so we've just let that sit for half an hour. Now we can glass the bottom side. Gracias. You're going. You're welcome. Come back. See you, man. Ciao. Fresh threads. <laughs> <laughs> Looking sharp. Woo! Welcome to the crew. Oh, I gotta get the views up. <laughs> <laughs> so we went away for a few hours, and uh, we're back, and it's it's uh, it's it's cured. So 
We're gonna flip it over and he's gonna glass the top side. You know how we're always talking about a mechanical bond and a chemical bond? Because it's already cured, he's scuffing it up so that it has a, a mechanical bond between the new layers on the top and the one that we did this morning on the bottom. Sleeping tonight uh -huh. and tomorrow again tomorrow, for hot coat. Tomorrow hot coat. Yeah. That's yes, my. That was awesome. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Pretty interesting, eh? Yeah, the details and that was really neat. They're like proper artists, man. Like to create that and just like. Did you see him in there looking at all the details? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty neat. Bye. 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 Bye, Carl. See you in a few days. Yeah. Don't burn the boat down, Linda. Behave. Colleen's in charge. <laughs> I'm in charge. <laughs> Bad decision, Colleen. <laughs> 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 Where's the airport? Straight up the road. <laughs> See you later. Well, I guess you're all wondering what the hell I'm doing. Well, now that the announcement has already been done, I'm allowed to tell you when I do things like this. Um, I'm in LA, in North Hollywood, and we're doing interviews for the show Below Deck that we filmed last year. So, as they go through all of the footage that they shot, they find all of these um, events and segments that they didn't know about at the time so we have to come back and we have to talk about those things to the cameras and rehash all of those lovely events that went that went down so this morning I'm going to the offices of um, 51 wines a production company and um, we're gonna be doing interviews the interview is sitting there cameras are there lights are on you it's pretty scary stuff now we're back at the hotel and ready to chill. Sort it up. We made it to Bacchus del Toro. Where Pale is right now. We actually flew directly over Pale, so we couldn't quite see her. But we saw a few of the other boats. Here we are. To you. Colleen egged me. I threatened to egg her, but I didn't, and I wasn't going to. But then she egged me, so I pushed. So I egged her, and then pushed her in the water. <laughs> Always one up. <laughs> it was quite good because I egged her. Then she got to wash it off straight away. You started it. No, I still owe you a push in. Hello. Start it. You had the intention of egging me first, so you started. I tried to tell you. I tried to tell her. I'm not going to egg you. If I was going to egg you, I would have done it by now. This is bad timing. <laughs> and where would you be going with a bottle of rum and a bottle of wine? It's going to be a good afternoon, that's for sure. Do you know where we're going? Uh, Red Frog Beach. Red Frog Marina. Marina. And on the other side, Red Frog Beach. Thingy's coming up. We're moving. We're going to, oh, it's Courtney. That's the owner of the uh, Bacchus Marina. They're uh, doing a few training laps for the regatta on Sunday. It's a serious ordeal now, it's not just for fun. It's for keeps. Yeah, it is. We play for keeps. <laughs> what, what now? Uh, um, we'll sail there. My we're just, uh, in the motorboat. 
uh, mode, I mean mine as well. The whole works. We've got Daryl on board, mate. He wants to see some sailor. Yeah. coming in hot. So we're about to be part of that deck there. <laughs> that was our bread. We just did a grocery shop. We got the bread at Salinas. Look at the smile on that man's face. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Decky. You're going in a double slip, Colin. Um, if you're backing in, the wind will pull you to the port side. Port side. Yeah. You guys playing chess or what? Getting a quick game in before he's up? No, my wife's texting. <laughs> Saying, is she jealous? She, yeah, she's literally jealous. <laughs> what a throw! What's that? Bien, bien. <laughs> Good job. Made it again. <laughs> you guys need to do is come up and uh, get your wristbands for the private beach club and your key fobs for the gate. Um, if you guys want me to give you a tour, I can do that. Yeah, sure. Let's uh, let's do a little tour. So this is Red Frog Marina. It's on uh, Bastimentos Island. Really sheltered. All these mangroves around everywhere, there's absolutely no way any swell could get in here. And uh, meeting the marina manager DC and he's going to give us a tour of the facilities. And the captain of this boat is my sister's kind of like ex-boyfriend. What a small world. Yep. Hey, is uh, Michael around? Uh, yeah, who is this? Um, it's Colin from Parlay Revival. Okay, give me a minute. Conference call with the boss. Catch up with them later. This is when we'll be ready for a fight by then. Oh. <laughs> yeah, nobody takes your sister. So we can't figure out how to get out of the marina. We're locked in to the marina. Here he comes. Gracias. Hey guys. How's it going, DC? Good. Good to have you back. Good to be back. Who's driving the other golf cart? Yeah, I can. You got a driver's license? Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Don't crash it. All right. <laughs> this is the uh, LZ for the helicopters for all the mega yachts that you land here. We've just stopped on the side of the path here because there's a sloth in the tree. Having a nap. It's got a baby with it? Yeah, the baby's clinging to their chest. What's the story behind the name Red Frog? <laughs> This is uh, the only island that has the red frogs. They're uh, indigenous to this island. Oh, that one up top there. Oh, there's a good one right here. I need someone tall. Oh, oh no, it's oh, Ian. Oh, no. <laughs> Jamie, let me go on your shoulder. It's sour. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Yeah, let's try it. Oh my god, there's four of them up there. Yeah, but that's all. Oh, I'm only this tall, look. Mmm. Sweet. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> oh, they call them water apples. Sweet. <laughs> this is a cruiser hangout, and Nacho wow. Mama's right on the other side of it. He's kind of the surfer legend here. Yeah, man. What do you think you're doing? I'm not going to make lunch. What do you think you're doing? I'm going to go make drive? lunch. I'm driving. Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. <laughs> so the wind's on your yeah. 
uh, port quarter. The only thing you really want to keep an eye on is this, the rudder feedback. Yeah. See that? Yeah, yeah. So keep it midships. It's Tom's first drive. He was on Expedition Drains for 10 months or so. He was driving that, which is a lot harder to drive than this. Look at this deck team. Killing it. By the way, we're going to a place called Dolphin Bay. There's usually some dolphins in there. It's like more like small creatures inside the mangroves. It's really cool. There's dolphins just over here. We've already got dolphins on the bow. We're going to go through this sick little um, cut, yeah. it's only about 30 feet wide. We've got this deep channel here that we've got to come out, but there's a piece of the chart missing here, so I might have to put the drone up and just uh, guide us through the reefs here. Look, these are all reefs everywhere, so not the easiest navigation. Just coming through the cut and uh, someone just pulled out, pulled up beside us and called out my name. Hope we're not in trouble. How's it going? Yeah, good. I heard, I heard you guys were in town. I sent an email inviting you to come and stay. I sent it to your info address that you obviously don't look at. Ah, uh, no, I've changed it. Next time. Where are you off to now? Uh, we're going to go to Dolphin Bay. Cool. And then um, we got the regatta on Sunday. Uh-huh. You're going to be cruising around Possibly. for that? Yeah, maybe. We're in that section of the chart here where there's no chart. We'll just come out of this part. We're gonna try ahead for this seven meter patch here where the chart starts again and follow that channel. Navionics just has no detail. We've got to come around through here somewhere. Woo! Spectangle. Come on, baby. How do you like them sugar scoops? Amazing. <laughs> Look at all that space. I know. Look at this spot. Alright, we made it. This is Dolphin Bay. Well, that whole bay behind us is Dolphin Bay. We're down in the bottom corner. Beautiful spot. We've still got no windless. It did arrive in Bocas del Toro today. So tomorrow we'll go pick that up. But in the meantime, just watch your hand. I forgot. Yeah. Cheers, team. It was a team effort. Did you get any? No, I didn't see anything. Saying like pink sky at night is fishermen's. Jen, and meanwhile in the boys' kitchen. <laughs> and meanwhile we don't get in the boys time kitchen. to see the sunset. Uh, always, 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 oh, yeah, always, yeah. always, yeah. always, always doing cool. something. Cool. <laughs> you have a perfect view right from here. Yeah, but I can't, well, we look, can't look out. Look out. Yes. No, we're yeah. looking down. We're lucky enough <laughs> to be in the kitchen down. and see that. Always looking into the pot. <laughs> a lot of people say that we're living the dream, and for me, this statement is absolutely true and I'm always so grateful for this. A boat gives you the opportunity to explore places that you would otherwise never get to experience. We were anchored in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by the wildest Panamanian jungle, on our own little floating home, and this is an experience you won't find at any tourist office. Buying a boat is a huge decision and a massive investment most of the time. But it's moments like these, surrounded by amazing like-minded people, all seeking to explore this planet's hidden treasures that make it all so worthwhile. So what are you waiting for?